And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. How is everybody doing today? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you all had a fantastic day today. Yes, it's operation time, or is it? We'll talk about it tonight, boys. We'll explain the situation. Why is today the day? Why is today an important day? Um, and we'll talk all about that and more. So do me a favor, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Like the video, as always, for the algorithm. And let's get started. Uh, real quick, I do want to shout out the Patreon because tonight I will be doing some buying. I'm going to be uh, putting some cash into the game and just buying a bunch of stuff. So if you're interested in to find out what I'm, what exactly I'm investing in, my buys and sells as they happen, link is in the description to join the Patreon or through channel memberships on YouTube. With that being said, let me pop out the chat, say hello to you guys, 122 votes, keep them coming guys, vote in the poll, will there be a Danger Zone update tonight? We'll talk about Danger Zone in a bit, like the stream for a cookie chat, and let's get started, we'll answer some questions, we'll talk about it, uh, let's see here, so, why today? Okay, so I already brought this up in past live streams but today is the five year anniversary of danger zone being released so five years ago today danger zone was officially released uh csgo became free to play it was a big update huge update brand new case brand new game mode it was an exciting time now does that necessarily guarantee that we're gonna see a big update today not necessarily probably not but it's still something that we can talk about we can still talk about like the markets we can see if they give us any clues um we did have an update was it yesterday or monday i forget um so they are working on the game and it's not too far-fetched you know for them to give us a game mode at least maybe not necessarily an operation but certainly a game mode i think they're gonna bundle them personally together like i think they're gonna wait for the game mode to be released with the operation but that's just my prediction we will have to wait and see and of course, there's no guarantees that the Danger Zone uh, game mode will ever return. This is just speculation. Uh, let's keep on reading. How much is your inventory worth? It's over six figures. If you want to like understand or get the exact details, how much of everything I own to the like nitty gritty, uh, you can become a channel member or Patreon member. Five years later, they launch the Danger Ban Wave. That's true. Are people still getting ban chat? Because last night. I know a lot of people were still getting banned. I don't know how many of you guys have had the chance to play some CS today. I, I personally haven't had time to play the game today, so I'm just curious if anybody has had any negative experience. Did anybody get banned today? The new content might change the price of stickers because you can put them on new skins and apply them, but if anything, any new content will drive down the prices of old skins. People will sell them for new. Not necessarily all the old skins. Like, for example, I'm not going to sell my prints for new skins. Like, that, that would be kind of silly. Um... Or my knight. The knight is such a good fundamental skin. Why would I sell it for some new stuff? But it, I guess it depends. Uh, Danger Zone ain't coming back. We will see. They need to bring back Overwatch. That would be interesting if they bring back Overwatch. Just played three games. It's all good. So apparently it had to do with the game drivers. If you had like updated your NVIDIA driver, uh, there was a chance that your... Uh, your game could have been banned. Valve could have detected it and banned you. Welcome to the stream, guys. We got a lot of people here. Decaval and ADR, welcome. My homie got two accounts banned for no reason. They need to fix the ban wave. Yeah, they are slowly rolling it back. They're fixing it, guys. Fimayo, welcome to the stream. Who said Danger Zone update today? Uh, it's five-year anniversary, guys. Today is the five-year anniversary of Danger Zone officially being released. Five years ago today, CSGO became free to play, and it was a big update. We will see if that brings anything, if that means anything today. Uh, in the meantime, obviously, we'll be checking Twitter. We'll be checking uh, SteamDB to see if the devs are working on anything. We'll be answering some Q&A. We're going to be doing some questions, so if you guys... Have any investing questions? Let me switch to live chat. Maybe we'll answer some questions for you guys while we wait. How many of you guys saw this? Um, Kadian joined Team Liquid. That's kind of cool. Welcome to Kadian. What do you guys think of that? L or W? Is that a banger of a transfer? Danish legend Kadian. That's actually kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. That's a W? Yep. They have Twist and Kadian. It's going to be one interesting team. Uh, let's see what else is trending on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, teams are stacked. It was kind of expected, to be honest. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> If we check, whoops, if we check here, so, I mean, I guess I can show you. So, like, y this is on the private server, so, like, this is the private uh, Discord server, but uh, this was yesterday. We had a Steam log update, Steam DB unknown app was registered at 619. Did anything come from that? Like, if I click on that, did anything happen yesterday? Because I already forgot it. Today was a long day. December 5th, 23 hours ago, they added something. Hmm. We'll see if they do anything today, chat. The night is still young. They could always add more stuff to it. I bought a few liquid stickers expecting Kadian and Team Liquid. Nice. Finally reaching 15k on the CS rating. It was so hard before the banways. <laughs> okay. What is 15k, chat? Is 15k like the global elite rank or like what's going on there? I wanted Mythic to go somewhere, but they don't want it bad enough. Who's Mythic? What's Mythic? I don't know what that is. Oh wait, Mythic, is that a team? Is that Flom's team? Jesus Christ. Dude, I am so out of the loop right now. Like, I had a long day today, Chad. It's been it's been a while. Uh, 15k Global League Keg W. All right, Bruce Kowski. Uh, Yo, Reggie says, Hey, Fano, I have five euros left. What would you invest in? Uh, I would personally put that money into some Paris stickers, glitters, or capsules, whichever one you see fit. Arrow says 20k global, okay. Flom's team, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. What's Flom up to these days? He's still, uh, he's still streaming, I, I, I'm pretty sure, last I checked. Praying for Heroic's downfall, I have some of their glitters. What? You're praying for their what? downfall? Why would you do that? That's, that's not very nice. Praying for somebody's downfall. Uh, let's see. I'm here to answer questions, guys, while we wait to see if any updates will come about. This is more of like a Q&A waiting stream to see if we do, in fact, get an operation or an update for Danger Zone. Uh, personally, I think that they will reintroduce Danger Zone. Uh, it would be kind of silly if they just get rid of it. Um, after working so hard on a game mode for so long, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like... Well, it, just killing the entire game mode would be kind of silly if you ask me only after five years, but It really comes down to what Valve are in the mood for. I mean, it, you know, they could easily do it if they want to uh, Flom is trying to rank up on competitive maps. Okay, okay Have you seen bet boom has their own CS2 tournament? It's called bet boom. I have not I really don't know what that is Bruskowski. Uh, I'm excited, though, for their stickers. If they do qualify, they're going to have some great, crazy, crazy BB stickers. So it's going to be very exciting to see their stickers. Hopefully they qualify. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Just think how many updates they would need to do to a new Danger Zone map as they do now. Oh, I see what you're saying, Snowy. So you're arguing that, like, maybe maybe they forego giving us a Danger Zone update because they're going to have to, like, tinker with it, fix it, make it good, and that's going to preoccupy them for, like, the real stuff, which matters, which are, like, the 5v5 competitive modes. I see it. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, listen. Here's the thing. You're absolutely right. Like, that could be a reason why they wouldn't want to add Danger Zone back into it, because they're going to have to, like, partition their, um, their, what you call it, their attention, right? Um, but you never know. You never know with Valve. They are one of those quirky companies that they just do what they do, man. They do what they do. Uh, it, yeah. Danger Zone, what? Have you seen High Flow Blue Steel Knives? I have not. I have not. I'll have to take a look at them, though. What's up there, Ninja Ear? Don't be a ninja watcher. Like the goddamn video, guys. Hey, Fano, when is the best time to buy stickers after a new capsule comes out? I was looking at the grass from last year, and it dropped like three months. Is that the best time to buy? Uh, I would say dollar cost average, DCA. Take a look at Tyloo Foil RMR. Will do, will do. Uh, what I recommend is it's more like if you're buying capsules, I would say retail price 25 cents or below would be the best time to buy as for stickers you you really can't time the market perfectly so my advice to you is to just dollar cost average every every few weeks usually towards the end of the sale 
couple months after the stickers get released. This is usually when they're the, when they're the lowest. Uh, let me see here. Uh, hold on, chat. Sorry about that. I'm on a second monitor here trying to figure this out. So you said Ty Lu RMR foil, right? Spill the beans, what you're saying. Are we getting a second howl? Wait, what? W what, what am I getting? I'm not getting a second howl, chat. I'm not. Appreciate the 100%, guys. Keep the reactions coming. You already know. Ty Lu foil. So how much is the tie? It's three dollars. Did something happen to Tai Lu? Did they like? Why is it three dollars? Wait, hold on. It it was higher. Hmm. This is such a weird chart, by the way. Such a weird chart. A lot of them get sold for very cheap. I don't know what's going on with Tai Lu, but the chart is looking like it has bottomed, which is good. That's pretty positive, I would say. Uh, but you never know. It could just it could very well you know continue going down. So you just gotta be very very careful. I personally wouldn't go after the foils. Not necessarily a bad sticker. It does look good. But I would put my money into something else. Um, that being said, though, I do see it rising. So even if you buy it, it's not like the end of the world. I just, I don't know. I don't want to, like, diversify too much. What do you mean Danger Zone today? Those of you that are asking about Danger Zone, today is the five-year anniversary of Danger Zone being released into the game. So it's been five years since the big update with Danger Zone. What do you think about Tyloo Foil Berlin? I've looked at it already. I think Tyloo Foil Berlin looks really good. I think it's kind of underrated. It's $7 right now. I'd have to take a look at the charts. But I think it is underrated. I think it's a really good looking sticker. Probably my favorite Boston sticker, if I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, Tyloo Foil, probably the best one out there. Uh, let's look at the charts. Charts are looking kind of negative. It was $9 before, so if you can pick it up in the 5-6 digits, it's not the worst idea but it is a foil to keep in mind so it's not gonna be used in crafts as like a hollow or a paper maybe um, but it's still a good sticker um, diversifying into a foils isn't a bad idea just don't go overboard buy a couple we got gamonics in the chat how you doing time flies yes sir marvin what's up gaben's gonna blue ball us into easter i hope not dude easter is a long way ways away is now a good time to buy an M9 Doppler? They're getting kind of cheap, but I don't think we've hit the bottom yet. I think we've hit the bottom. I personally would buy it if I were you. Listen, you could try to time it, but most people fail at timing the absolute bottom, so it really depends on your time horizon. If you plan to hold on to that knife for several years, whether you buy now or in a couple months, isn't really going to make that big of a difference, so um, I don't know. I would buy, but that's just me. I'm doing good, Fano. Just tired AF because I suck at sleeping. How about you? Okay, dude. How do you suck at sleeping? You can you can be bad at falling asleep or have trouble falling asleep, but I don't know how you can be bad at sleeping. I want an update. Give us something. I know, Momo. I know. We're waiting. We're waiting to see if any, any changes are logged on SteamDB and any updates, but uh, I still don't quite know what that... That Steam DB message was, if you guys remember from last night, 23 hours ago. Bruskowski, do you know what this was? Does anybody know it's an unknown app? What what does that mean? Does anybody know? Could could that mean like, you know, an event like an operation got logged or something? It could be any other app, it doesn't have to be CS related. Okay. So it doesn't have to be CS related, but it okay, that makes sense. Fair enough. Okay. We will see, we will see. It's just kind of strange that it happened yesterday, but all right, cool. I saw a 0 .1, 0 0.016 float blue phosphorus sell instantly for $500 skin port. Yeah, dude, blue phosphorus are popular skins. Why are some items in my inventory trade banned when I've had them for a while? I don't know, that's uh, not good. Wh which items are you talking about? How, how can only sir? I mean, so, if you trade with somebody, there's usually a hold. So, like, if I send you a skin, you're not going to be able to trade it for seven days. So, like, there's a ban on skins that you get uh, in trades. Goes to bed at 7 a.m., wakes up at 10 to 11 a.m. That's a very bad sleep schedule. Uh, is it worth buying 1K Rico cases right now? Probably not. We actually did a case stream yesterday, chat. So, highly recommend you guys check that out. Those of you that missed yesterday's stream, we ranked all of the cases based off of investments, right? Like how good of an investment every case is. Uh, Rico case was not at the top, so I personally would not recommend putting 1k into recoils, but 
Um, and you can watch that stream to understand like the deep, like the reasons why uh, I think that way. By the way, guys, don't forget to hit the like button for our mate Fano. Yo, Momo, shout out to you, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you actually missed the Rico case in that tier list. It was so bad of an investment, it didn't even make the list. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's jokes. Uh, it's it's a droppable skin. We talked about droppable skins earlier in the stream. So while I, while I didn't rank it per se, I you know you can you can assume where I put it. It's sort of near the fracture case. I don't think they add it back now. There are too many cheaters. Imagine a lobby of 32 players with zero dollar accounts. Yeah, that would suck. You're right. What about Mirage Souvenirs? Uh, if you haven't already bought them for sub $3, I probably wouldn't touch them. You, I mean, you can, nothing wrong with that, but it's probably better to buy a sticker that you can apply on new skins when new content gets released than a package that can be unboxed now. I mean, and, and that will most likely come back next major when we have, you know, a, a new major, a new Mirage. Uh, not new Mirage, but like, you know, another type of, another version of the Mirage package, if that makes sense. Hey, Fano and chat, Martine, welcome to the stream, man, how you doing? Uh, but if you buy it for like 23 cents, it's still a bad investment. Uh, listen, droppable cases, unless you have reason to believe they're gonna get rid of them, I don't see them as investments. They could be short-term trades, they could potentially, you can buy it at a local bottom and hold it for a few days, maybe prices spike up and you sell at a profit, but long story short, I don't invest in droppable cases anymore, uh, unless you want to hold on to them for years and years and years, uh, in which case, sure, great, you do, you do you. Just watch yesterday's stream, we talked about case investing, how to profit, how to make money into next year with cases, it was a good stream last night. Danger Zone makes sense for Source 2 with its better optimization. Honestly, I still can't believe they got it to work on Go. I, I agree with you, random name. I actually think that, that it does make sense for them to reintroduce it, but we will have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see, chat. Uh, yet, CS is the only game that does it. Does what, Norsk? Only game that does what? Uh, let's see here. Keep the questions coming, though, chat. I mean, I'm here to answer as many questions as I can. Uh, Legends Capsule is above Contenders. Somebody bought a bunch of Legends recently. Interesting. Still cheaper than Contenders. Fair enough. If we sort by CS2, we go here, Phoenix, Chroma. These cases were mentioned last stream. Somebody bought a bunch of Legends Stockholms. This is very cheap sticker capsules. Interesting. New Anubis package still there. Yo, Momo, shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for becoming a tier one member. With tier one, you get special badges, emotes in YouTube chat, and you can join the private Discord server. So, shout out to you, man. If you want to join the Discord, you have to go to my YouTube channel under the membership tab. There's a special tab called membership, and if you click on it, you'll find the link to join the Discord. Maybe they're going to give us new content in Christmas. Uh, I already made a, not a video, but a stream talking about the update. So, recommend you guys check that out. I think it was a couple streams ago. We gave, I gave you guys a timeline of the dates. Uh, they don't give updates during, like, on Christmas, but usually a week or two before Christmas is when you should expect to see it. Which is why I think that they're, whoops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Do they generally do big updates without announcements? They first do the update, and then they give the announcement. Or they tease the announcement on Twitter, and then they give us the big update. Got it, mate. Thanks for the warm welcome, and thank you for the great content. Of course, man. Of course. That's my goal. That This message made me lose 20 euros. What? Yo, Marvin. Appreciate the tier 3, brother. Four months, dude. Four months. Shout out to you, man. Welcome back for four months. Are you very active in the membership Discord? Absolutely, we are active. Like, it, like membership Discord, we have a bustling community. You can always ping me. We always talk about a lot of things. We have different channels. Um, highly recommend you give it a shot. I mean, you know, give it a go. It's 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 a monthly thing. So if you don't like it, you can always leave. But I think that I like to think that the tier three streams, you you know, add value to our community. We come together once a week. We do live streams, we talk about investments, we play some games, and the conversations we have, I think it's good. Uh, did y'all see the reply from CS2 towards Oni yesterday? I actually did not. I'd have to take a look at that. What did Oni say? Thoughts on patches? I like patches. 
patches are good. Like, like agent patches that you apply on agents, solid. Why do you think Danger Zone is coming back? Half of the game is missing, and I think that they have more things to do. I disagree. I don't think half the game is missing. I think the game is pretty close to completion. They, they've come a very long way, um, if you really think about it. Like, I remember when the game first came out, CS2, right? Like, in September, um, there were still a lot of problems with it. They've come a long way. It's almost perfect, uh, or close to perfect, so I'll take it. I think they're close, and like I said, it's, like, they're not gonna drag this on for several more months, so... We will see. I think Danger Zone will be back with the Danger Zone 2 case. That would be crazy. Half the half the game is missing is crazy. I know. People just love being negative. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, how can you say half the game is missing? Like, what? <laughs> Impossible. Is there a high demand for patches, though? There's an okay demand. I wouldn't say there's a huge demand. Uh, if I were you, I would probably uh, play it safe and just go with the patch pack, right? The... The package that contains the patches from Stockholm. That would be an interesting uh, way to spend your money for those types of investments. CSU cases? What about CSU cases? I think the ban wave was the early Christmas gift from Gaben. Oh, snap. Loot Snoots, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Doing well. Quick question, chat. I asked this on Twitter earlier in the day. I asked you guys, honest question, would you play CS2 if it didn't have skins? Be honest, chat. If skins did not exist in CSGO or CS2, would you guys play this game? Be completely honest. Like, would you play it? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of people that said no. There's some people that said yes. Uh, we got Ronnie in the chat. How you doing there, Ronnie? What's up? Heck no, I wouldn't play it. No, I wouldn't. Nope, I'm here for the money. That's fine. That's totally fine. Listen, guys, whether you would play or not, doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we're here. Skins are a bonus, I agree. Maybe for a while, but would quit it. You take more breaks, I guess, is what you're saying. Because you never quit CSGO. CSGO, you, like, never dies. I would. Counter-Strike helped me learn how to aim switch from console. Good. I played it when I didn't have skins, so yes, I would. Okay. I only just got some skins and played a lot before, so I still would play. I would play too much competitive, right? I would blast music. CS is my childhood, so yes, I would. Nope, I'm a Valorant player, actually, but the money is stronger in CS. Fair enough. So you're a Valorant player. Okay, cool. Hey, Fano, do you think Capsules Antwerp will recover? Uh, I think they have the potential to recover next year with the next major, so yeah, I, I actually do. I have 20k hours in CS, so I would probably play regardless. Smart. Somebody ban this guy? No, 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 don't don't, don't ban the Valorant guy. We need him here, man. He needs to keep spending money in, in our game. We, we're all gonna get rich. Uh, the more Valorant players, the better. Uh, hey, Fano, do you remember me? My dad lost 70k in mouse stickers. I do remember you. How you doing, man? Are your parents still together? Holy... I play CS for like 20 years, so I'm probably going to keep playing. Fair enough. Uh, let's see here. I think the skins make the game look way nicer. If you play all on default, it looks so boring. That's fair. My dad got divorced. Oh, shit. What? I'm sorry to hear that. There's no shot he lost 70k. Yeah, yeah, his dad took out like a second mortgage to buy a bunch of mouse stickers. <laughs> it was actually really crazy. Like, this is why you don't go into debt when you try to invest in a virtual pixel like a video game I, I i'm trying not to laugh but like it's it's just not wise it's just not wise chat like in what world does that happen he better be trolling because i still i need to see the receipts because like there's no way a grown that's one of the worst ideas ever i know like mouse stickers are great but put it with money you already own you already have right you don't like borrow money to invest like that's just that's just wrong mouse guy really dedicated to this troll yeah who are you calling a mouse guy dog nate who are you calling a mouse guy mr wise guy i'm buying some mongols hollows these days i think they have high potential what's your opinion fano uh mongols hollows they're cheap i like it they're unique they're cool but i don't know if they have high demand so you buy a couple and that's it YouTube is uh, pretty bad with these ads. I'm a member, I'm a sub, and I'm a mod, and I still get ads. Uh, get YouTube Premium, Bruskowski, and then you'll you, you'll have no ads. Uh, I'm not actually trolling you. It's for real. That's crazy, though. 
I'm so okay, if you're being serious, man, I'm sorry to hear that. I wish I was trolling. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Uh, Mongo stickers grew on me the more I see them, not gonna lie. No, Mongo stickers are good, man. Easy print stream demand for Mongols. Print stream? Yeah, print streams are good. Yeah, I'll get ad block, not YouTube premium. Um, okay. Uh, hey, from my new PC. How you doing there, Neven? What's up, man? With your new PC. Are you enjoying it? Did you set everything up? Do you think we can get new gloves in the next 12 months? Probably not. I think we'll get gloves in 2025. So, a little over 12 months. We still need a couple more generation of knives before we switch to new gloves. Because, like, we already had new gloves with broken fangs. So, it's like, give, give them, like, a, another year and a half and then we'll get more gloves. Which Asimovs are the best to invest in? Uh, M4 Asimov, Op Asimov are solid picks. The other ones aren't... Are, they're okay, but... I think M4 and, and AWP are better. Neven got that new PC so he can rap better. Ha, <laughs> good one. I just booted it, downloaded Chrome, joined the stream. Priorities in that order. All right, I like it, I like it. Shout out to you, man. We need Gamma Doppler on the new knives, in my opinion. AK is solid. Yes, sir. I got my cat to click my mouse and she unboxed a phase gold sticker. Shout out to your cat. Okay. That's good, that's good. AK is solid, AK is underrated. Yeah, but it's a K-skin, so it's probably better to invest in the items that are older K-skins. If, if, I mean, actually, they're all K-skins, but um, I would invest in the older ones, personally. Uh, AK is also underrated. I, listen, I agree with you. I'm just giving you the order. So, like, probably I would say AWP. Well, actually, M4. Hmm, that's a good question. Which one's better? Op Asimov or M4 Asimov? Which one's the better investment? Ooh, that's actually... That's gonna be tomorrow's question <laughs> for the polls that I do on the community tab. That's a really good question. Which one's better? They're both around the same time. They're old. They're coverts. I don't know. I don't know which one's better. I'd have to. Uh, we'll have to ask the uh, the community. Which Antwerp capsule most solid pick for investments? Uh, in terms of like risk reward ROI, probably the Challengers, but Legends is just safer just because it has Cloud9. So you either go with Legends, hoping that, you know, Imperial and Green stonk like crazy and you're buying it at a discount relative to peers, or you go with what's been working, go with the Legends and see if it continues to work. Now I am finally ready for GTA 6. Oh, wait. Yeah, you spent all your money on, on the PC, Neven. Uh oh. I think if the Kukri knife gets released as the only gold in the case, that would be perfect. That would be disappointing just like the game. Okay. Smash the like button, guys. Yes, sir, Martin. Do you think they're going to add the op porcelain next update? That skin makes me crazy. It looks good. I don't know if they're going to add that particular skin, though, because there's so many skins they can add, Marvin. So we already have a bunch of op skins. We, do we don't really need more coverts, if you ask me. At least not yet. Thoughts on the rumors of a Prince Stream AK? I would love to see a Prince Stream AK. I heard whispers that they're going to fix Prince Stream effects when it drops. That would be sick. A, a, you know, a, a brand new and improved version of the Prince Streams and a new Prince Stream AK? That'd be amazing. We always need more op coverts. Only, only during operations. We don't need them in cases. At least that's my opinion. Uh, have you seen that Fnatic is not even in the top teams anymore? Why is that? What happened to Fnatic? I haven't been following them. Dude, if they fail to qualify next major, if they get eliminated by, like, some random team... Ooh, yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Some of those glitters and hollows. Mm -mm -mm. How can I do a cheap Medusa or Howl? I have videos on my channel how to craft fake skins. I've done Medusa fake craft. I've done Howl fake craft. So just go on YouTube, type how to craft a fake Medusa Fano, how to craft a fake M4 Howl Fano. You'll find videos on that. I've already done those. Uh, let's see here. If they fail to qualify, I'm going to be super rich. Good. I wish you all the best. I think they don't even have five players at the moment. Um, at the moment, really? They really disbanded like that? Wow. Do you have a cheap dealer? I think I do have a cheap dealer craft. Yeah. Ronnie says, I'm off to bed. Thank you for the stream, Fano. Good night, good night, good night. Yo, Ronnie, take care. Hope you have a good one. We'll have to play some time, maybe later this week on Friday or something. Um, if you're down, uh, can you show us your Paris Hollow collection? My dad wants to see it. 
my Paris Hollow collection. Well, it's spread across multiple accounts, so I don't have it all on this account. Um, so, I mean, like, if I go into my storage containers, like, you'll see Paris stuff, bunch of, like, Apex Hollows, bunch of mouse glitters, actually a lot of mouse glitters on this account. Like, I mean... What else, what else, what else? Uh, more, more mouse. Here, here we got, here we got more mouse. Uh, I don't know, it's, like, it, it's spread across multiple accounts, chat. Like, I have other accounts that have way more. I'm going against you, Fano. I just bought 930 recoil cases on the buff market. Listen, there's nothing wrong with, listen, you can buy the recoil cases, and maybe in the next week or two, there could be a chance where, you know, droppable cases rebound, and they go up, and you feel like a genius, and you and you did the right thing. Great, you went against what I said. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. It's just that money, in my opinion, could have been just better spent, it, it, you know, if you hold for a couple more months. But it is what it is. Nothing wrong, no shame in doing that. I wish you a lot of profit. I hope you, I hope you make money. Uh, Corvo says, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Can't complain. I am a genius Bitcoin 2017 investor, investor, investor. They told me not to. Yeah, but Bitcoin is not the Rico case, or the Rico case is not Bitcoin. You can't compare the two. Like what? Like hello? It doesn't even make any sense. What is that comparison? Like I get it, right? But gotta love the recent crypto pump. Yes, sir. I hope Paris goes up eventually and they don't do another RMR, otherwise my dad is screwed. Oh shit, yeah, that would be bad. That would be bad. Uh, dude, I need to get your dad on the show, man. I need you to, like, interview this guy. Like, what it was he thinking? 70k? 70k down from Mouse Hollows. What on earth was he thinking? Get the dad on here, yeah, like, what the hell? How? In what world do you take a, a loan or a second mortgage or whatever? It, like, <laughs> like, come on, man. Basic supply demand tells me recoil is not a good investment. McElon Musk, you are absolutely right. I agree with you. The fundamentals are just not there for that case. Now, could the sentiment change and everybody starts piling in on cases and, you know, cases start stonking higher for whatever reason? Sure, that, that, you know, that could happen. There's a possibility. Doesn't mean it's probable, fundamentally speaking. So, listen, I, I, I'm not a, you know, I'm not gonna go ahead and, like, tout recoil, revolution, those types of cases because it's just not worth it, in my opinion. But we'll see. Maybe they go higher. You never know. Uh, who gives you a loan for CS2 investments, though? I mean, that's based AF. Yeah, I really don't know, Momo. I don't know. I, I, I can't tell if this guy is trolling me. He probably is. There's no shot. He, he claims he's legit, but I, I need to see these receipts. You know, you know what I mean? Like, hello? He saw how prices were spiking up for all the items except RMR, and he wanted to buy a second house, so he took a mortgage and bought Mouse Hollows. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, that's wild, man. When is your best skins to buy video coming out? Uh, it's coming out tomorrow. I have a December video coming out with the best skins to buy this month, uh, and it should be pretty exciting. Hope you guys watch it. Uh, I just gambled my last $1,000. I haven't told my wife, and I got children to feed. Help me stop. I am also bullied by my job. Wait, what? By my job? I am crying right now. Oh, shit. Yo, what the? Okay, so, first of all, like, stop gambling. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, hello? Gambling? Really? Really? You're gonna... There's so many ways to make money in this world, and you go with... You go into the one thing where the odds are completely stacked against you. Like, hello? Like, no, listen. You gamble when you're rich, when you have a lot of money that you don't care to lose, when you are, you know, you have passive income, you have money coming in, you're financially sound, and you want to have some fun entertainment. Gambling is entertainment. It's not a way to live. It's not a way to feed your family. It's not a way to survive. It's literally entertainment. So... Like, be responsible, be an adult, grow up, get a job, work hard, invest, make smart decisions, and stop playing silly gambling games, man. Like, 
Hello? Yes, you can stop. It's very simple. Pick up a hobby, pick up a skill, learn, read a book, do something different to get your mind off of it, you know? You don't have to be entertained all the time, right? Life isn't all about having fun, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, man, but y you gotta, you know, be the change, right? So, no, man, in Eastern Europe, we gamble for fun. Just say, listen, man, but that's that's a recipe to stay broke, though, your whole life. Do you want to stay broke your whole life? Like, if you're gonna gamble, invest, because, like, it's calculated, you're taking bets, you're taking risks, but, I mean, there's fundamentals behind it, right? And, you know, gambling is just pure, like, everything is just stacked against you, like, there's no... Like, the only gambling I would ever do is poker, and even that's, like, I don't know. Uh, hey, Fano, I've been investing 50% of my money into crypto, smart move, and 50 uh, into CSGO at the moment. Okay, I like it. Alternative assets, that's good. But I only use money that I can afford to lose, never what I need. Exactly. If you're going to invest in these speculative assets like CSGO, crypto, that there's no, like, there's nothing proven about them. It's all speculation. It's all, like, how much can I sell in the future for a higher price that somebody else, you know, will value, blah, blah, blah. These risky investments uh, only put in how much money you can afford to lose. Never go into debt to invest in crypto or CSGO. Never. Never. I am literally thinking about doing a re-depot with my children's... No, 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 no. Your children's savings account remain at your children's savings account. Don't touch those. Relax. You'll be fine. You'll make that money. Just out of curiosity, uh... Vex, Vex, what is your job? What do you do for a living? Like, you have kids, you have a wife, that's great. What do you, what do you work? Like, what's your profession? I need to play more? What do you mean you need to play? No, you don't need to play more. Stop, man. Like, hello? You don't need to play more. You need to work more. You need to, like, not have time to think about gambling. You know what I mean? I, I work with cars. Work more. Apparently, you're not working hard enough because, like... You have all this extra time to, like, you know, preoccupy your mind for gambling. Like, like that's stupid. Use that time. Learn a skill. Get a second income that doesn't revolve chance and luck and gambling. Like, find something that you can learn, master, do, a hobby, something that is productive. That'll find you ways to make more money, potentially. Don't feed the trolls, Fano. I'm trying to give good advice. Now, if he's trolling, that's on him. But I'm, I'm here and, you know, trying to, like, help people out. I really don't care if he's trolling or not. I'm trying to help people out. Uh, Momo, stop saying we're trolling only because you're not in a bad situation doesn't mean we're all trolling. Uh, Spartans, what is your profession? Well, if you have a gambling addiction, then you should call a gambling hotline and get some help. That is true. That is true. You can try that as well. When is your best skins video coming out? I said it's coming out tomorrow, chat. My videos usually get uploaded at 7 a.m. Eastern time, so do the math. It's in about 12 hours from now. A little over 12 hours, so just be prepared. Uh, I'm gonna deposit right now. I got hyped. Okay, dude. Y'all are a bunch of trolls, man. I don't know how my speech hyped you up to gamble, but that is just that's just beyond just bonkers. It just blows my mind. The amount of people that could, like, in a couple of years, you guys could be so rich if you just, like, invest. You make smart decisions. It's ridiculous, man. Can't save them, man. Can't save them. <sighs> House always wins in the end, yeah. Uh, yeah. The only way to lose a gambling is if you quit. Okay, dude. <sighs> Listen. I never said you shouldn't gamble. I said that you should gamble responsibly. You only gamble for entertainment if you have money that you can afford to lose. But if you got kids to feed and you got like a family to, you know, take care of, like what the hell are you doing gambling on virtual pixels, shady ass websites that don't tell you the odds, don't tell you the percentages. They're literally stealing from you, quote unquote. Like, hello? Stupid. I'm gonna sell my wife's diamond ring. Alright, y'all are just, y'all are crazy, man. Transfer all your money. Okay, dude, I'm done reading that. If you lose 100%, but you can win 2,000% to the math yourself. Okay. You don't know the feeling, Fano. I literally think I'm gonna take my children saying I'm shaking and crying. No, stop, 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 stop. Stop gambling. Like I said, instead of gambling, 
go find a job, a second job, a second source of income. Do something productive with your free time, right? And then take that money, that extra money from you working hard, right? And invest it. I don't know what country you're from, but you know, put it into a stock exchange, put it into maybe some, save some money for some real estate purchases, maybe some gold, maybe some silver. Again, not financial advice, but like these are just options, something a little bit safer than just gambling on virtual pixels. Hopefully that makes sense. Every time I play with friends, I have to try to convince them not to gamble. Then when they don't listen, I have to convince them to withdraw. <laughs> okay, dude. When are you going to sell your Paris investments? Uh, I already explained most likely later next year, sometime in February. Uh, I'm going to sell my Steam account over seven years old to make a deposit. Isn't that against TOS? You shouldn't be selling accounts, but okay. Uh, you are a very wise man, Fano. Thank you so much. Uh, who cares for your followers? I really like the way you are. Of course, Martin. Of course. Looking out for you guys. Of course. What is even happening right now? I don't know, dude. Um... Yeah. Fano, I just signed the mortgage for my dream gun year. Thank you. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Alright, now y'all are just trolling me. Holy. You guys are ridiculous, man. All you guys, like, what the heck? Is there no operation tonight? No, guys. Listen, listen. The reason I think that there may be an update tonight is because it's the five-year anniversary of Danger Zone. It came out five years ago today. Danger Zone. Uh, it could be tonight. Some of you guys say that like there's still issues with the game, and I agree, it's not done. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to see. My cat died. What should I do? Uh, I don't know. Grieve. Get a new cat. I don't know. Uh, yo, Fano. My dad said he can come to your live stream to discuss our situation. If you can help us out with recouping our initial money in three months. Like I said, guys, three, <laughs> the next three months are going to be pivotal for Stockholm and for Paris. Next three months are actually like the time where you're actually going to see growth potentially on those assets, right? Like there's going to be a lot of positive catalysts. There's going to potentially be an operation, a brand new case, new content. There's going to be qualifiers. January, February is going to be teams competing. Teams get eliminated. Next next March, we get the new stickers. We uh, find out if they're borderless or not. All of these can play a big role in the price of all of these stickers that we've invested in. Do I buy Paris now? I'm not going to tell you what to buy, but you know, Paris is the cheapest among the three, so... I would argue buying the cheaper ones makes sense, so I'm still buying Paris, but, I mean, you do you, man. Uh, at what profit would you sell Paris Glitter's mouse? It depends on what price you paid. Uh, if you can get a 2x, 3x, 4x, um, I would still lock in some gains, just in case. Um, mouse Hollow seems to be slowly rising again. That's a good sign. What do you think of OG Hollow Paris? I think it might be a sleeper. Yeah, it's been going... It, it went down a lot more than I expect uh, anticipated. I'm surprised it went down so much. Uh, it's a good sticker. I I, to I totally agree. Uh, you think they even work on new content, or Valve just focuses only on fixing the game? They, it, you, you do realize it doesn't take a whole lot to make skin content, right? Like they have people in the workshop that do the work for them, and they just port the skins into like they just add them into a case and. You know, it's really not a whole lot of work for them, right? It doesn't preoccupy them. It doesn't take a lot of time to make a case, right? Um, so, because they just pay for the skins, right? So, uh, long story short, uh, a new case, new operation, the concept of operations isn't something new, right? So, they could easily release it, but like I said... I did a stream a few days ago talking about why we're not getting content updates and when we will probably see them. Uh, like I said, first week of December, or sorry, first half of December, right? Until like the 15th, 18th. Very good likelihood that we see something. If we don't see it by the 18th, most likely we'll see it in the first half of January next year. What's the biggest L you took in CS investing? Probably RMR Golds. I invested in armor golds back in the day. I knew it was kind of risky, not kind of, but very risky. And uh, they ended up recycling gold stickers in the next operation or next major, and I ended up losing quite a bit of money. But hey, you live and learn, and you know you take you take risks. You know that's part of gambling. So or not gambling. Fuck you guys. 
Shit, I'm gonna get clipped out of context on that. Fuck. Uh, uh, what's it called? That's part of, um, investing. God damn it. Oh, my head. You guys got me into the gambling, like, mindset, man. Like, all you, all this gambling talk, dude. Holy. I had a long day, dude. Do you love Sophia? She's pretty nice. She's a nice, she's a nice person. Uh, operation might be too much for them to manage right now, considering all the bugs in the game. P potentially. However, though, Mandingo, they do need to give us new content. Because, here's the thing, like, this big of a drought, they, they're, they're due for a new case. And the fact that they didn't release a case when the game first came out, even though they very easily could have, just goes to show you that, like, they're lining up something bigger. Whether it's new collections, a new operation, a brand new case, something with skins is coming soon, chat. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's an operation, I don't know if it's new collections, I don't know if it's a new case. Could be all three, I really don't know. <laughs> Why do you sound fruity in shorts on YouTube? What? Why do I sound fruity? What does fruity sound like? What? I have no clue what you're talking about, dude. Uh, do you know what, wait, do you know that Paris was sold more than the previous majors and long-term discount? Okay, and your point? We've had the most players during Paris, so obviously it's gonna be more expensive. You made me so hyped, so I depoted, and now I lost, and I'm super depressed. Thanks for making me gamble. All right, this guy's clearly a troll. Uh, fresh new game mode with a brand new case. That'd be nice. Uh, when do you see Mouse Glitter 2xing? Sometime next year. Uh, I don't know how long it will take, but it could be it could be before, it could be after the next major or during. I, I really don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, do you want me to show you proof? No, you're good, man. You're good. I, I already said what I had to say. Bought a couple cheaper investments, Fano. I plan on holding them for a while and playing with them. What are your thoughts? Factory new AK, bro. Purple Ops Sun Leo is good. MP7 Fade is pretty solid too. Baroque Purple, underrated. I like that, man. Uh, they need to add Overwatch to many cheaters. Yep, I agree. What are your thoughts on Copenhagen Flames Stockholm stickers? I like Copenhagen Flames. I think they're pretty unique. Uh, the, the Paris ones look amazing. Yo, Mist, joining the tier one. Shout out to you, Mist. Join the private Discord server. We have a members only Discord for the channel members. Join Who our community. Go to my YouTube channel, click on the membership tab. Is the Moss Quartz a good investment? Uh, I'll probably make a video or a short talking about the Moss Quartz. Uh, probably tonight, honestly. Um, you actually bring up a good point. Is the Moss Quartz good? Uh, it's from a good collection. All right, this music is super loud. Hold on, I can't even think. G give me one second, Chad. I gotta lower the, the volume a little bit. Um, long story short, long story short, it's a good skin from a good collection, but it's kind of pricey. And there are, there is potentially a negative catalyst coming soon uh, that could derail this investment. So I'll talk more about it in my video later tonight. I'll do a short talking about that. That's actually a very good topic. Uh, you got to be careful with that. It's a good fundamental stick uh, skin, but like, yeah, be careful. What the hell? All right. Um, uh, I sold my Sun Leo and Green Lemon to buy Antro Capsules. Was that an LRW? Uh, in terms of risk reward, that was probably a W because sticker capsules and stickers tend to do better than skins in the short term. But uh, you never know, so that could be a, a pretty big risk. Uh, hey Fano, do you think we will get more borderless stickers in 2024, like the second major? Probably not. I don't think we will. Uh, what's one trap new investors in CS may fall into? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a very good question. A trap trap that investors fall into uh i mean the most obvious one is investing in new cases investing in like the revolution case i see a lot of people just have a bunch of revolution cases in their inventories and i'm looking at them and i'm like why do you have a case that is literally like brand new or released this year why are you investing in it why are you buying it like why like why are you hoarding it like sell it like hello it's free money so if you get them as drops so like I would say that's a mistake a lot of people do. Uh, yo, Emmy, no, we don't do that here. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's just not. <sighs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, no, no, no gambling in the chat, guys. Come on. Uh, hey, Fano, use my. Oh my God, dude, what the hell? All right, dude. 
Mods, Neven, Steven, can I get some help here? Thank you. Uh, knowing in the future, Bruskowski, appreciate you, man. Uh, hey, Fano, do you think they'll remove the Anubis package in the operation? That's another thing. Like, a lot of people think, a lot of new players think that they're gonna remove it. Uh, a lot of people actually thought that they were gonna get rid of the Anubis package earlier, uh, in the year. They thought they were gonna get rid of it with Paris, and that was a very naive thing to think. I remember back, uh, during Paris... Like, I literally have the proof. I had a stream talking about it where, like, we had people in the chat saying, like, no, they're, you know, they're gonna get rid of it, Fano. They're gonna get rid of it after the major. It's an operation, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you don't believe me, just watch the, uh, the VODs of the old live streams back in, like, March or April. Long story short, it's, it's just not wise. Like, it, it, wait, let me rephrase it. If you've played this game as long as I have, like, 10 plus years, you tend to notice how Valve operate, how they think, what they do, how skin collections work, how new new cases work, how everything just plays together, and, you know, if you look at the numbers, they're making a fortune, a killing, out of those Anubis packages. People are opening them like crazy. Why? Because, well, they want the new skins, they want more skins to use in trade-ups, you know, they, people like to gamble, unfortunately, right? Like, that's just society, right? So, um, and you have this item that has an unlimited supply of, right? You can just spam buy it as much money as you have. So, why would, what's their incentive to get rid of it, you know? Like, there's just no point to get rid of it. So, eventually, maybe they get rid of it, but who knows? We just don't know how long it's gonna take. Hey, Fano, after getting a membership in, if you're in the membership-only Discord, after it expires, do you get kicked out? Uh, you do have to renew your membership to continue to get access to the channels, right? If you're a Tier 3, you get special channels. If you're Tier 1, Tier 2, you get different channels, right? If you lose the membership, right, it, it, you don't renew it, you don't get kicked, but you just lose access to the visibility. So, like, if you downgrade to a lower one you lose access you don't get kicked you, you, we, we won't kick you but you won't be able to see them um so you got to maintain status man uh obviously no danger i mean it's a community it's a it's a community of just like-minded individuals investors where we're trying to grow and make money and talk about money you started reading and you skipped me sorry loots news uh hey fano knowing in the future let me pull it up here so everybody can see it knowing in the future there's going to be some balance changes for the game maybe weapons just from your opinion what weapons do you think could get buffed or nerfed price could rise a lot i like revolvers i like p2ks i like sgs and augs um i would say uh, maybe even the famas honestly famas galil those types of like underappreciated guns go after some of the like coverts some of the pinks in them some of the operation skins from them and you'll be good to go. Don't go overboard, though, so I don't want you, like... Like, right now, I probably wouldn't be buying them because there's no guarantee, right? And it's probably smarter to buy into something that's, you know, cheaper. Um, but, yeah. Thank you, Neven. I appreciate that, man. Uh, uh thank you, man. I, I, I will get a life. Thank you. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Why is your Huntsman named FU Mobile? Uh, the reason it's named FU Mobile is because I actually unboxed this uh, on Twitch, and in the call, my good friend Mobile, he's been on, in our community for many, many years, he was in the... He, I don't know, man, I was just... It, it was interesting. It was a, it was like a joke. Like, he, he couldn't believe that I was... that I unboxed this, like, really, really nice Phase 2 super low flow, and it was for the memes, man. It was for the memes. You had to have been there. Uh, isn't the new case the cheapest point? Yes, but it's still dropping, so the fundamentals are bad. Like, if the case, it, like, it's still dropping. There's like, still an infinite supply. Don't open cases, sell them instead. Fano also unboxing a knife. This was many years ago, before I became very, very serious with, like, my investing journey. Um, and like I said, it was money I could afford to lose, and it was just for some content on Twitch, is what it is, man. Like I said, if you have the money and you know you're gonna lose, why not? But if you do it responsibly, is what I'm saying. Uh, why would there be a Danger Zone update today? It's the five-year anniversary of Danger Zone, guys. Five years since the game came out, or the game mode came out, and um, could be something big. You never know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to dislike because of your clickbait title. Okay. I mean, Grandpa Rick, I explained it clearly how... It's been five years since Danger Zone came out. 
today's the anniversary. We are due for a big skin update. We are due for potentially the reintroduction of Danger Zone 2, right? Danger Zone. Uh, you can call it clickbait all you want, and the door is that way, so you can leave, and that's about all I'm gonna say. Uh, you're good, man. You're good. Listen, like, nobody's forcing you guys to be here. Like, we're just hanging out, trying to have good vibes. Is it fair to say you are the most hated content creator in the skins community? I don't think so. And and if I am, it's it's ridiculous. Did you see that the case openings were 20 million less in September? I talked about it in a previous video. Um, yeah, that's actually wild. I have a few theories as to why that huge drop is, but uh, we've discussed it in previous streams. Do you think there's a realistic investment thesis in buying old gun model skins? Nah, they're they're eventually all... I think they're all going to get ported, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, there's a lot of them, but personally, for example, I hate the new SG model. I wouldn't buy a new, a new model skin. Um, I don't know, dude. I, I wouldn't read too much into it. I, I like to keep it very simple. Go after skins that a lot of people like. Go after skins with good fundamentals. Uh, make my money in the short-term investments with cases and sticker capsules, stickers... Um, yeah, just keep it simple, guys. Why don't you post reels on Instagram? Because I don't have time, dude. I don't have time. I need to hire people. If anybody's down to, like, edit reels and TikToks and all that stuff, I'd love some help, but I don't have the time. He put a question mark, my guy. Yes, sir. Speculation is what we do. Exactly. Uh, I like the stream on my burner to cancel his dislike. Appreciate you, little rip. Thank you, man. Thanks for, uh... Thanks for hitting the like button, guys. Really do appreciate the support. Fan of spreads positivity and good vibes? I try to, man. I try to. Contrary to what a lot of people on Reddit may say about me, like, I'm actually trying to help you guys make money. I'm here because I enjoy this community. I enjoy talking to you guys. I enjoy, like, <laughs> like, skins have been a part of my life for so long. Like, I don't know. It would be very selfish of me to just, like, hide all this information to myself. I would love to just spread my information to as many people as I can and just help people, right? So... The people that are, like, framing me out to be, like, this bad guy trying to, like, scam everybody in the community, like, that's just absurd. And those people that are claiming those, like, accusing me of that, they were not in this community longer than I have. Like, they've been, like, there's some new new people that have entered, and they don't know anything about this, so this is what it is. Uh, is my Onitaji gonna get poured in a new game model with the disgusting thing on the scope? I swear, <laughs> I book a plane to Valve's office. Onitaji's a good skin from the Hydra case. I like that. It's a good, good skin. Um, when was the last time you proved someone wrong? I prove people wrong every day, dude. Like, it is what it is. Like, I don't know. Just be a member of the community. Follow me on social medias. Come to these live streams. Get to know my character. Uh, and like I said, don't believe everything you see or here on the internet because people can fabricate lies they can change images distort the narratives to you know fit their agenda so um always take things with a grain of salt right uh people like to flip-flop fano is the only one putting out investment recommendations if paris moons watch how loved no no the, the crazy part is if paris moons i will not be loved that's the thing the people that already like my content you guys will enjoy you, you, like you guys will love me even more right but the people that hate me, aka my biggest followers, right, you know, they actually won't praise me. They won't say anything positive about me. They won't say Fano told you so. They won't, like, give me any credit. And that's just part of the game. Like, it is what it is. And I'm not doing this for credit or, like, any of this fucking, like, oh, I'm doing this for fame and fortune and all this garbage. Fuck no, dude. I could care less what these, what these clowns think about me. But at the end of the day, like... It's only the negatives that people, like, focus on they and they harp on. So uh, if I screw up something, if I make a mistake, obviously it's going to be, like, there's going to be a spotlight, you know, on it. So you can't win, man. You just got to, like, stay in your own lane and just do you, man. Just do you. And that's how I like to do it. So, yeah. Bro is just growing the best invest community there is. Exactly. That's my goal, to get a bunch of like-minded investors into a community. And I want all of us to make money. I want us all to grow. So that's the whole point. I'm documenting my journey with investing. I'm teaching you guys, giving you guys my strategy. Obviously, could there be better strategies? Sure, I don't know. I'm just doing what works for me, and hope hopefully it you know helps you guys out too. Uh, what would you choose as an investment? Which one makes the biggest percentage? 
Asimov, Op, or Vulcan? Very good question. Uh, personally, I still kind of prefer the AK Vulcan. Op, Asimov, there's a huge supply of them. It's a very popular skin, iconic. M4, A4s are also... I mean, all three are solid picks long term. I still kind of prefer the Vulcan because it is a covert AK. But, um... Yeah. Uh, hard to say. What gives you security to fail? I mean... The fact that I'm putting money that I can afford to lose, but at the end of the day, I know that these items aren't going to go to zero unless Valve, like, decides to pull the plug and, you know, quits CSGO altogether, so, um, you know, I'm just doing what has worked in the past and, you know, what I think will work in the future, and we'll see what happens, but this is what it is, man. Like, don't go into debt, you know? And another thing that people need to understand is no nothing I talk about is financial advice. People think, like, I'm this professional, highly trained individual that, you know, uh, prides himself to be the smartest genius, the second coming of Warren Buffett, and, you know, like, what? Like, no. I'm just giving you guys my opinions, my recommendations on what I'm doing, right? You can do whatever you want. You can do the inverse of what I do. And I hope you make a lot of money. But at the end of the day... Like, I'm just doing what, what works for me and giving you guys my takes on it, you know? Is the flip knife a good investment overall? I think there are better knives. Flip knife is good from an old, like, collection of, like, the OG collections, right? The old knives, right? But uh, I, I think from that, you, you should focus primarily on, like, M9s and Karambits, if I were you. You're the NA version of Mr. Wing Liu, facts. What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Why is Paris into the bridge, into the breach, and Ben Eagles Eagle's Hollow so cheap? Are they solid? They look really cheap and good red stickers. Um, it's just demand at the end of the day. Those teams aren't as popular as some of like the other teams in those same capsules. So like obviously, people are gonna open those capsules not going for those particular stickers, but going after the other ones. And then these are just like leftover stickers that people have in their inventories, and they quick sell them trying to get rid of them for to get their money back, right? So they can buy more capsules, right? And try to go after the, the better stickers. So at the end of the day, long story short, I think they're underrated, I agree with you, but they're just not, the market doesn't value them, you know, as highly as some of the other stickers, at the moment at least, right? So that could change, you never know, like it could change. Thank you for all, thank you for all the help and the tips you're giving to the community. Of course, guys, of course, I'm trying to do my best, you know? And I enjoy talking about these topics, right? I love this community that we're building. I don't think the crash is over, Fano, because I still see skins very underpriced on third-party sites. Well, I mean, just look at the charts. Like, we are off of the lows. We are rebounding. But no, that doesn't mean, like, we're going to, like, continue rising. And we, we, can, we can't retest the lows. We can't go back. Um, but I would argue that, you know, if we start getting more skin updates, we start getting closer to the major, I think that will be pretty positive for skins um, going forward. So... I don't know. I think the worst is, has, has already happened, but could be wrong. Nobody can predict the exact bottom, so. Do you think we'll get another borderless in 2024? I think there's the potential, but, you know, there's always the possibility of it happening. It's probably 50-50. I would argue we probably won't see borderless, but who knows? I mean, Valve is the only one that knows, so we'll see. What will what will it take for the hall, for the Stockholm effect to happen again? Uh, I really don't know, man. Like, that would be horrendous if we get another Stockholm-type stickers, but we'll see. I mean, you can only, you know, you can only milk it so much, if that, if that makes sense, right? Like, they did it three times, and in each time, they changed the position of the text, right? Like, in Stockholm, it was at the bottom right, Antwerp, it was sort of in the middle, uh, Paris was in the bottom left. I'm talking about the text, right, of the stickers, so, like you look at the stickers here, you look at Paris was on the left, you look at, uh, I don't know, Stockholm was on the right. Now, again, does that mean anything? Does that mean that, like, they, you know, the next one in Copenhagen can also be on the right or can be at the top? I don't know. Listen, I'm just saying, like, they've milked these borderless stickers for too long, if you ask me. So... There's always the chance that they continue to recycle them, but like I said, they could only do it so much before people lose confidence, lose faith in it, and just stop investing altogether, stop buying altogether. It just doesn't look good. Yes, they'll make a lot of money, but it just doesn't look good if they continuously do that. And you could argue they don't care. They're a private company. They can do what they want. That's true. It's their game, right? 
but I think that they probably won't. I think that they will try to be different, they will try to be unique, they will try to add some originality back to the game, and to uh, just, you know, shine a better light on them, you know? Hopefully that makes sense. Is it better to invest in cheaper knives but Dopplers or prefer a high tier knife with a medium tier skin? Uh, I still prefer Doppler, like the finishes and such. Uh, ideally, what I would recommend to you is um, go for fades, Dopplers, and then vanilla knives. And they don't have to be like super high tiers. They could also be like Talons and Ursus knives, some of like the lower tier, second tier, whatever you want to call them. Uh, those are still pretty good, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, let's see, any other questions? If I'd go buy an AK Vulcan right now, field tested, go for a good float or just a buy order as cheap as possible? As an investor, I would say buy order where? Are you using buff? If you're using buff, uh, I would just say, like, try to find a decent one, you know, like, 0.25 to 0.35, somewhere in that range, it doesn't matter that much. Obviously, the lower float, the better if you can, but I wouldn't, like, stress over, like, overpaying for, like, a clean magazine Vulcan or whatever. Is the Glock 18 Fade a good investment? I like it. I like the Glock 18 Fade. I actually bought one a year ago or two, I forget exactly. Um, I, I do plan to hold on to it for quite some time. I think it will rebound. Uh, hello, good sir, Fano. Danger Zone, yes, today's the five-year anniversary of Danger Zone, guys. It's been five years since the game came out. Or, so, sorry, the game mode came out. Um, they usually send updates later in, like, two to three hours. Like, a big update, you guys think that they're gonna do it, like... I mean, listen, guys, in theory, updates can happen at any time between, like, 5 p.m., 6 p.m. Eastern Time, which is right now, or... I've seen updates in the past happen at, like, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 9.30, like, super late here on the East Coast, right? I consider that late, right? So, who knows, man? This is just speculation. We're here to talk, discuss. They don't have to release it today, guys. I just want to make it crystal clear. They don't, like, nothing is guaranteed, obviously. But I do expect some update, you know, sometime this month. Next month, there should be a skin update, a case, an operation, new game mode, danger zone, something big is coming. The fact that it is more on sale makes the price stable or not higher, long-term investment. I don't understand the question. The fact that it is more on sale, the longer it stays on sale, the, uh, the higher the supply will be. So, the price ends up taking longer for it to appreciate. If you're capping, I'm going to sue you. I mean, this is not financial advice. This is absolutely my opinion. I am not claiming that... Like, what? How, like, there's no basis on that, but alright. What made it... What motivated you to do a YouTube channel? That's a great question. I really don't know. What was I thinking? Um, no, it was, it was interesting. I mean, really what motivated me was, like, back in those days, there really weren't that many YouTubers. Like, it was just Anomaly at that point. It was a little after McSkillet stopped making YouTube videos. And I was like, hey, McSkillet is no longer making videos. Why not take a crack at it and, like, try to not necessarily emulate, but, like, try to, like, pick up where he left off. You know what I mean? And, like, take a different turn on it, right? A, a different twist on his videos. And, you know, it, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good time to start a YouTube channel. Do you edit your own videos? Yes, I do. How long does it take? Quite a bit of time. Uh... Yes, yes he is. Uh, I think they are focusing mostly on bug fixes for now until the upcoming major in March. Uh, I already explained why they're probably not going to do it up until the March date. They're probably gonna they're probably gonna officially release the game before the end of January. So we do expect a big update either like this month or next month. Uh, did you know McSkillet? Not personally, no. Why don't you get an editor for like 10 bucks? Because I can do it better. Or I'm very... Uh, okay, l let me rephrase that. That sounds very... Uh, what's the word? I, that sounds very uh, egotistical. But like, no, in theory, 10 bucks... I, I have my own style of editing that I like. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. In theory, I should get an editor because it will save me a lot of time, and, like, that's how you operate businesses and such, but I kind of prefer to be the captain of my own ship in the sense of, like, I don't know, I just enjoy 
making it my own. I wouldn't want to like force some editor to do it exactly the same way I'm doing it and it's like it's weird, you know? What streamers do you know personally? Uh, well, I've never met them in real life, but you know, I know Onipixel, I know Anomaly, I've, I've talked a bit with Jesus, um, Sparkles came into my YouTube live stream a couple of times in the past, haven't really spoken to him in a while, uh, a lot of them are on my friends list on Steam and Discord and such, but I, I don't know, I mean, like, usually Anomaly is the big one, and then, obviously, uh, Ona is pretty good too. Didn't Jesus diss you? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, is what it is. Uh, do you think the saga will continue? I don't know if- I don't follow the saga, sorry man. I try to stay away from... sagas. <laughs> Rather spend those 10 bugs- uh, t bugs- 10 bucks to make 100 bucks? That's true, that's true. Feels like cope update won't come this year in my opinion. We will see, Mohid, we will see. It most likely will come out first half of December, first half of January. Big update, skin update, case update, collection update, something big is coming. Are you in the CS Market Forum? It's a great Discord. No, I'm not. I only have my own Discord. Isn't Oni bigger than Anomaly? Uh, bigger in what sense? Like, numbers-wise? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, uh, tr trending-wise, yes. In recent times, yes. That being said, though, Anomaly has years on Onipixel. Like, he's been in the in the scene for way longer than Oni has. So, um, I think they're both big in their own way. They have, they're, you know, they're both special in their own way. Um... But, like, if you look at the numbers on Twitch, yeah, Oni's killing it right now with CS, so, um, depends what you're, like, valuing, right, what you're monitoring. Uh, what's your ELO, Fano? I don't know, dude. I was, like, L-E-M, L-E, before the, uh, what's it called, before the rank reset, so, you do the math. Nobody's bigger than Anomaly? <laughs> the dude eats like an army? <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Weren't there snow versions of maps? Maybe they'll add cobblestone this month? Yes, sir. Stop baiting, Fano. How am I baiting? How am I baiting? There is a potential for a update this year. Today is the five-year anniversary of Danger Zone. Literally five years, chat. Now, again, doesn't mean that it is confirmed that tonight we're going to get the update. I want to make it crystal clear, chat. Just because there's a freaking... Five year anniversary doesn't mean diddly squat. Valve can say, oh, we'll, you know, we'll release it tomorrow. So I just think that we are due for danger zone at some point, And the question is when? We don't know. Do you think CS2 has any chance of dying until CS3? No, I, I think CS will not die. I think CS is, is a strong brand. It's only going to grow. Next year we got two majors. I think it'll be pretty positive. Next year's going to, we're going to see some big growth next year. Bro missed the question mark in the title. Yeah, exactly. Like, my title isn't, uh, my title isn't, uh, Danger Zone coming out, Danger Zone is coming out tonight, confirmed, click here, now. Like, that's not my title, you, you know what I mean? Like, that's not, that's not like, like, hello? You heard it here first, Fano confirms the <laughs> Danger Zone release. <laughs> Uh, thoughts on Crimson Web Desert Eagle? Ooh, that's a really good skin. I used to have one back in the day. I like it. Uh, as an investment, it's alright. I think they're better, better deals. CS3? Man, I haven't emotionally recovered from CS2. CS2 hasn't even started yet. What do you mean recovered? You can't leave CS2 because if you do, your loving skins will also leave. Yeah. I would, uh... Well, if I ever leave CS2, I'd probably cash out my skins, but... I probably will not, I don't know. There are some skins I'll probably never cash out, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to play it as we go, you know? We will wait and see. Uh, isn't Crimson Web skin made my Valve? I think so, yeah. Pretty sure. Could it be possible to get my profile signed in days, weeks, months? I'm a huge CS fan. I love this community, and I want my clean profile to be the representation of people I like. Um, I usually don't sign profiles anymore just because uh, a lot of, like, scammers in the past have tried to get my signatures and add me on Steam and all that jazz, so I'm very cautious with who I sign and who I add. But, uh, I mean... 
the longer you stay in this community, the more that you know, the closer you get to me. The you know, pause. Uh, come to these streams regularly. Consider becoming a channel member. Join the discords, public and private, if you want. The closer you get to me, the like, like the thing is, during the private tier three live streams, we play games together. We we're in a Discord call, so like we get very close. So like, I'm not saying like you have to pay me to sign your profile, but what I am saying is like we do need to like. I, I, I need to, like, vet you guys, you know what I mean? Like, vet the people in the community. If you can afford the Op Medusa, even the Battle Scar is worth it. The Green Witch, yeah. High float, 9-7, easy. We talk about buying gas stations and shit. Yo, shh, don't, don't spill the Tier 3 live streams, man. Like, hello? What is wrong with you, Neven? Uh... In CS, please, God, don't bring back the here. Okay, yo, Silver, what's up, man? How you doing? Silver's in the live streams. He knows what's good. Uh, let's see here. Any other questions, chat? Any other questions, dude? The Steam DB, man, are they doing anything? Come on, Valve. Come on, Valve. No updates tonight? No way. <sighs> uh, it's gonna be very, very upsetting. My 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 Twitter feed is all just like Fortnite streamers and stuff. L look at this chat. That is so depressing. Watching all this like Fortnite shit going on while we wait and beg and plead for Valve to like give us content. Meanwhile, these guys have Peter Griffin and all these other random characters and like skins and all this other shit. Like, come on, man. Like, Valve. Give us something good. This is Stream Inception. What? I like Fortnite. Uh, okay. What makes you happy, Fano? Uh, what makes me happy? Hmm, that's a good question. I would say eating food makes me happy. Working out makes me happy. Like, going to the gym. Like, you know, sports. That makes me happy. Uh, I don't know. Making money makes me happy. <laughs> you know, like, investing makes me happy. Talking about skins makes me happy. There's a lot of things that make me happy. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the Fortnite beta was something. Okay. What Danger Zone update did I get baited? Guys, Danger Zone is still not out yet. Today is the five-year anniversary of Danger Zone. Danger Zone was released five years ago today. I'm not saying that it's confirmed that it will be tonight, so relax. Like, it's not like I'm... It's not like I have an insider leak that I'm, you know sharing with you guys but what i am saying is that there's the chance that we do see an update tonight but obviously no guarantees and who knows fano is a strong man he eats he goes to the gym he makes money what else would you want exactly by the way fano i was looking into my old trades and i realized that i had to open all of my stars souvenir packages in 2019 yeah don't open stars for like skins or souvenir don't open your souvenir packages that's the worst thing you can do how you doing there, Roiner? Welcome to the stream, man. Confirmed 100%. Valve didn't even wish a happy birthday on Danger Zone on Twitter, so I doubt it. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Today literally is the birthday of Danger Zone. Five years, guys. It's been five years since this game came out, or the game mode came out, and they don't give us an update? Like, come on, Gaben. Literally, chat. Like, hello? It's literally the five-year anniversary. Five years and one hour ago, chat. They missed their birthday. Literally an hour ago, it was five years on the dot. What is wrong with this video game? We should all uninstall and sell our skin. No, I'm kidding. But, like, come on, man. They didn't give us an update on the CS birthday. What do you expect? I know, dude. They like they, they are putting in, like, the minimum effort possible. It's crazy. If this were my game chat, if I owned this game and I was the creator and I was the, uh, the owner, like, oh, my God, man. Like, how could you... See, that's what happens when you become so, like, complacent. Like, you have all this money. I don't know, man. They don't care about us, man. On that short that you posted about skins in December, people's emotions are so high. Like, the Fire Serpent is such a good gun to invest in. People act so weird. Yeah, like, people in the comment section were like, Fire Serpent? I hate that skin. It looks very ugly. How could you invest in it? Like, it's really crazy. And you know that video, that December video... It got so many dislikes from just emotional people, like these, these like children, right? Like these emotional people. Like, how can you be so emotional, right? Like, like just because you don't like the way a skin looks, doesn't mean 
the fundamentals aren't there doesn't mean you can't profit from it doesn't mean that you know it's a bad investment i don't care what you think the market doesn't care what you think you know the price will go up regardless of what you think so at the end of the day like people are just so emotional man holy um the fire serpent is nice 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 i'm sorry i can't say it <sighs> whatever uh i mean the fire serpent is not the best looking skin sure i agree i concede it isn't the best looking skin but it doesn't have to be if i own this game i can tell you chicken would get costumes for halloween there would be old cobblestone i agree there are many guns that look ugly but the investment is what's important yeah making money guys they are making everything from scratch but once it will be made it's gonna be insane so it's worth the wait yeah exactly being patient is super important uh in a room of all the people you've ever known, who would you look for first? <laughs> That's such a bait question. You're trying to like, what? What do you mean by that? Like, what? You trying to like guess who I know? Like, what? I don't know. I don't know, dude. These are some theoretical questions, man. I I really don't know the answer to that question. <sighs> I'd love to meet Bruskowski someday, or or Ronnie, or you know, one of the mods. Yeah, absolutely. We should do a meet and greet. Bruskowski, uh, take me out to dinner in Poland, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What type of music do you listen to? I don't really listen to a lot of music. Like, just, you know, like maybe at the gym, maybe. But, like, just casually listening to music, it's just, I don't know. I'd rather listen to podcasts, listen to, like, audiobooks, or just not even listen to anything. I don't need constant content coming into my head you know sometimes i sometimes i just like to think you know come up with ideas and ponder are you a knicks fan uh good question not really no that <laughs> meet and greet will happen when apex reaches 100 dollars. absolutely yeah if you were okay dude what who would you Yo, 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 Momo, 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 that, that's not a YouTube-friendly comment, dude, what the hell? <laughs> we're in the wrong, we're in the wrong, uh, chat, my friend. We ain't, wait, well, ain't we gonna meet you when you buy your private land? Yes. Did you ever show your face in your streams? No, I have not. Bro, I would give you an entire room for yourself. I appreciate that. Thank you, Briskowski. Send your jet, man. I still don't have a private jet. Maybe one day. Do you think Tyloo Stockholm Hollows are going to double when the Year of the Dragon comes out? I think they have potential to double. That's why I'm still invested in them. Yeah, absolutely. Which glitters are you bullish on? I like the mouse glitters the most, but I also have other glitters too. So, mouse glitters, um, fanatic glitters are interesting. Apex are cool. Nine glitters are cool as well. Uh, I already met with Ronnie. That's nice. That's nice. That's pretty good. Yo, this update is killing me, chat. Like, where is the update? Is it gonna come out? Like, come on, Gaben. Ay, 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 dude. Ay, ay, ay. Antwerp glitters, probably like Cloud Nines, Imperials, Nine Zs, stuff like that. Uh, maybe Copenhagen Flames, but probably not. Just keep it simple, right? Dude, I don't know, man. At this point, what time is it, dude? It's six thirty, man. We've been streaming for thirty minutes. Like, how long do we have to wait? Dude, I will be so pissed if I go offline right now and they release an update in like 30 minutes and then I have to go back live again. That would be so upsetting. However, there has been zero movement today on the Steam DB. Zero movement. This was from yesterday, so there's nothing confirmed that today is the day. The only thing is like pure just speculation. Go live on Twitch if it comes out. I'm like, I, honestly, I that sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a great idea. I'll probably go live on Twitch if it comes out tonight. In fact, if if an operation comes out tonight, chat, I will. Uh, I'll take a day off tomorrow and I will do a 24-hour stream. Fuck it, I'll do a 24-hour stream on Twitch if the operation comes out tonight. If a big update, a skin update comes out tonight, that'd be crazy. That'd be a W, dude. Holy. Uh, if I have $100 to spend, should I buy Force uh, Tyloo Stockholm Hollows or 10 Mouse Paris Hollows? 
Uh, I will, that's a good question. Paris is cheaper, so I like that. Tyloo is, ooh, it's older, rarer. Good question, man. Good question. I don't know. I don't know. I'm invested in both just to be safe, but, uh, you need to make that decision yourself, man. Like, that's a tough question. Very tough question. Damn. I need advice, Fano. How do I talk to a girl? You don't. There you go. Problem solved. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, listen, <laughs> no, no, no. You, you do talk to, you do, you, you do talk to the female species, but, like, you don't, like, you don't overthink it, man. Like, like, you let them talk to you, man. Like, hello? Um, you think quantity is better or quality? I think quality is better than quantity. Just because you have some, like, if you, you have a lot of something, if it's trash, like, it doesn't matter. Quality, man. Tell her about your skins? I mean... Ask her if she knows what <laughs> she wants to see your dragon lore. <laughs> you want to see my dragon lore? Oh shit. Hey Fano, I just left work. Why is the stream so long today? Because we're waiting for a danger zone update that probably won't happen tonight. <laughs> That's why it's so long. Ay ay ay. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try now. Gonna tell her about my caramel. Oh shit. Yo. Uh don't say that. Don't 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 say caramel, dude. At least not in the U.S. I don't know about other countries, but... Uh, yeah, don't talk to girls. You'll lose your gains and money. That's true. That's true. Uh, hey, Fano. I haven't watched Fano since 2019, but I'm back now. Yeah, welcome back, dude. 2019. You're a 2019 frog. That's awesome. Videos are on the way. I honestly do probably have to like end the stream soon so I can go edit tomorrow's video chat. I still need to finish editing the, the video for tomorrow about like uh, December skins to invest in, right? And I'm sure that video is going to get a lot of dislikes and people like complaining. That's not the skin I would invest in. You don't know anything about skins. But um, we'll see. We'll see. So do me a favor, chat. Everybody watching the stream, if you if you do anything, tomorrow's video, give it a thumbs up, guys. You know, some good karma. You spread some good positivity to me. Maybe some good positivity will come to you. You know, like that's how you should. You, that's how you should live your life. You know, some people are so stingy when it comes to like YouTube or life in general. Like if a, if a creator you like or you watch the videos of asks you to you know hit the like button. If you if you genuinely enjoyed the video, I, you know, I would I would like the I would like the video. You know, don't be so uh, selfish with the likes. What are some bad investments? Um, I would say, like, no offense to recoil, recoil cases, revolution cases. Those are probably bad investments. Um, I don't know. Just uh, mil-spec case skins. So, like, a skin from a revolution case that's, that's blue. Uh, like, a new skin that's, you know, dropping still. I don't know. Do you think Hydra field tested is a good buy? Op Hydra, I like it. Long term, it's good. What access do you get with the different tiers for the membership on Discord? Uh, tier 1 gets you access to the community on Discord. So you can join the channels for talking about crypto, investing, uh, general chats, uh, different channels you have access to, right? That's Tier 1. Tier 2 is a little bit higher. You get access to members-only videos. Tier 3 gets you access to my spreadsheet with all of my purchases, my buys and sells. Um, basically... Gets you even more access, like live streams, all that good stuff is tier 3. Tier 4 gets you access to, uh, tier 4 is only on Patreon though. Members only, uh, not members only, weekly uh, newsletters. And tier 5 is, uh, I add you on Discord and we do private calls together where, you know, you, you tell me about your investments, I get to know you better, and we talk about strategies, how to make money. So, uh, are you good at chess? I am. I do, I do play chess. Uh, I gotta say though, I haven't heard a Don DeMarco for a while now. Here you go. Battle Scarred weekly drops consumer grades. Yeah, those are pretty bad investments, I agree. Valver too busy laughing at our <laughs> game appeals. Millions of begging and raging. That's true. That is so true. Uh, hey, Fano, what do you think about the color orange? It's a very good color. What's your chess elo? Um, I don't know, like 15, 1600-ish? I forget. I forget. I haven't checked Who it in a while. I don't play competitive, though. Like, I used to when I was younger. Uh, Ot Goo became a channel member. Shout out to you, man. Join the private Discord server. Join the Discord server, man. 
link your YouTube account to your Discord and join the private server. The way you join is you have to go to the YouTube channel, click on the membership tab. So let me see if I can pull it up for you guys. Don DeMarco, baby. <laughs> So the way you do it is this so like you go to the YouTube channel, right? Let me Dude YouTube is so slow to load. Holy uh, Bet thousands on team liquid. No, no, that's risky team liquid is super risky right now Investing in team liquid is very risky chat be careful. Don't get don't get caught up in the hype uh, You click on the membership tab so you see how you have the home page the videos the shorts the lives the playlists Click on membership, and that's where you'll find the access to the Discord, and also access to like old live streams too. If you if you subscribe to tier three, uh, dogs or cats, uh, they're both good. I don't have a preference. I mean, it depends on the dog. I would say most. Hmm, how should I say this? My answer to that is pretty simple. I say mo I like most cats more than I like most dogs. That being said, though, there are certain dogs that I like more than certain cats, and cats are just safer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know what you're going to get with cats. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. They're both, they're, they're all right. They're all right. <laughs> I'm not that big of an animal guy, but yeah, they're all right. Bro, imagine Valve watching your stream and laughing at our despair. Dude, of course, dude, of course. They're waiting for me to go offline. If you're listening, Valve, don't do it, man. Give us the update tonight. I'm gonna drop a lot of money on your game tonight if you if you you know give us the content. Cats are safer. What do you mean? Cats just attacks you out of the blue. When I say they're safer, I mean like they don't ask for attention that much. You know they take care of themselves. They clean themselves. They like, you know they ask for food, which is fine I guess. But like I, I mean I don't know. You you know what you're gonna get. Like they're not hyper generally speaking. I don't know. Cats are just very vanilla. Most cats don't ask for attention. They just want food, man. Dogs are the ones that have the high maintenance. Like, notice me. Notice me, master. <laughs> it's like, all right. I don't know. I'm not much of an animal guy, chat. When when they release CSGO back-to-back, -back, I don't know, dude. When release CSGO back-to-back, -back, I don't know. I don't understand the question. Like, what does that even mean? What games do you play? I don't play many games. I play CS only. Yeah, a lot of money, but as an investment, not the dangerous G word, okay? Both sides depends on how you raise the animal. True, that's true. Depends depends on a lot of factors. My cats ask for attention so much, to be honest, and won't leave you alone. As soon as you love them, they attack you. Wait, you of them? They attack you? I don't know, dude. Maybe I've just been lucky with the cats that I've had in my life over the years, but I don't know. I currently don't have any pets, but I don't know. Is the Nomad Fade a good hold with more pros using them here and there? I like the Nomad knife. It's a good knife. I like it. I probably wouldn't go ham on it. I wouldn't go overboard with it, but I'd still probably buy a nice case harden or a nice fade. Pretty good stuff. <clears throat> Can we do another inventory re review stream? I have some new investments. Um, Potentially. Jade, I recommend you uh, follow me on Twitch, official fanu on Twitch, mods, and even can you spam the Twitch link, please? Uh, the reason I say that is because uh, on Twitch is usually where we do a lot of content on like inspecting skins, looking at crafts, sticker combinations, those types of like those types of inventory reviews happen usually on Twitch. The gameplay, if you if you want to see me play some some games with my skins and all that fun stuff. Twitch is the place. Here on YouTube, we talk about strictly business, money. We talk a little bit about life and politics, but not too much, right? Um, it's mainly just, like, how to better yourself, how to make money here. Uh, so it's a different, like, type of content. So, yeah, follow follow the uh, the Twitch if you want, uh, you know, like, skin crafting content, stuff like that. I just got a Zywu Gold Paris from the unboxing site, okay? Keep or sell and invest in Stockholm. Definitely sell, invest Stockholm. And stop unboxing sites. Get rid of that mentality. Can we get a house apartment tour someday? Um, I'm actually probably going to move to a better apartment soon. So maybe, maybe. Never know. Never know. Follow me on, you know, social media. On X, on YouTube, on Twitch. You never know. Maybe one day. What do you study, Fano? Uh, engineering. 
software engineering. Uh, let's see here. I have a fish, Fano. Good for you. Uh, yo, Fano, did you... Where did you find information about the engine update? No, 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 no. I want to make it crystal clear. Nothing is confirmed. There is no confirmation that tonight is the night we're going to see an operation or a, a danger zone update. What I am saying is, notice the question mark. So, like, today is the five-year anniversary of danger zone. So, I'm expecting them to do something, whether they acknowledge it on Twitter, on social media, whether they give us an update. I'm expecting something. And I probably shouldn't be expecting because it's Valve. Knowing Valve, you should uh, expect nothing and be happy with what you get. So, long story short, I don't know anything. It could be today, but it could also be tomorrow. How did you come up with your name? That's a very good question. I really don't know. Uh, I don't know. I was looking for a uh, very roll-off-the-tongue kind of name. Something that is easy to pronounce. Few words, or sorry, few letters. Uh just happened to stumble upon Fano. We have no expectations. Yes, sir. Two inches is pretty big, right? It's how you use it, man. Do you think investing in specific skin patterns are too risky? I wouldn't say it's risky. I say it's like, it's just, why would you do that? You know, it's like you're, you're limiting yourself to who you potentially offload your investment. Why would you invest in something that there's a collection of niche investors when you can invest in something that everybody loves a lot of people love and you can easily find buyers so you can easily offload and make profit from to me it makes more sense to do, to do the latter like blacky moth is cool it's still kind of liquid uh but the deep pattern huntsman yeah that's probably gonna take some time for you to sell or yeah depending on the pattern or the flow i, I would personally go with the blacky moth but eh, i don't know tough one man tough one I do miss Danger Zone a lot. Source 2 does allow for 70 kilometers. Yeah, I know. So Source 2 is going to make for, for a killer Danger Zone update. So, it, listen, guys. Nothing is guaranteed. It probably won't come out tonight, unfortunately. But who knows, man? Who knows? That's why we're here. How much do Blacky Mobs go for? I haven't checked them in a while. I'd have to check buff. He saw his fan and said, Ooh, into it. Sound like a robot. And that's how Fano was made. He saw his fan and said, ooh, fan, ooh. Uh, hilarious. So original, Neven. Uh, would you rather a new operation or nothing? I would much rather get a new CSGO operation. Much rather have an operation. Have you ever had any near-death experiences? Ooh, that's a good question. Near-death experiences. Uh, actually, I have, believe it or not. Uh, and again... Obviously, this this was actually kind of crazy. Uh, all right, I'll end on this story, chat, because like, listen, like we 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 could do the stream for like hours and hours, but like who knows? It it may not come. The update may not come tonight. But anyways, this is actually a really cool story. So, I was very young. This was back when uh, how old was I? I was probably like ten years old. I was probably like eight or nine, ten. I I forget the exact age. It it was young enough to remember. Like sorry, old enough to remember, but. It was quite a bit of, quite a while ago. So, and it's a really, really quick story. So, like, what happened was, uh, it was on an airplane. And this was the craziest shit that ever happened on an airplane to me. And no, it's not turbulence, chat. It was actually crazier than that. So, so, we're coming, we're coming home from, like, a vacation overseas, right? And it's a dark, rainy night, I think it was around the time of Katrina, Hurricane Katrina, if you know, if you remember that. And we were landing in New York City. So you can imagine rain coming down, dark, it was night, and we're landing. And we basically, as we're landing, we touch the ground. We start, like, all the wheels are on the ground. We start rolling, ro like, we start, like, like, trying to, like, land. And then, like, 10 seconds into the landing, the guy just aborts the, the landing, and we just suddenly take off again. And I was like, what the hell? Long story short, there was a plane ahead of us, and we almost we almost crashed. It was it was, it was actually kind of crazy. So we ha actually had to take off again and, like, do a whole nother around. I would consider that a near-death experience, because imagine if we, you know, kept going and potentially crashed into something. That would have been crazy, so... I consider that, even though I didn't see the plane ahead of me, I ended up realizing later that, yeah, that, that, that was, that was scary shit, man. Planes are, like, 
no joke, man, especially during uh, hurricanes and bad weather. And you got to be careful, man. You got to be careful. He would have stopped before he hit. I disagree, man. Dude, Bruskowski, you're, imagine you're landing. Both wheels are on the ground. We're, we're rolling like we're, 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 we're literally on the runway. And then all of a sudden, we just start going back up and we take off again. Like, hello? Why would he take off? Why would he take off? <laughs> you, you know, don't get hit or don't hit somebody, you know, so it, it was it was crazy, man It was pretty crazy. I consider that near death, man. I don't know. We were all like Planes often take off on landing. Okay, dude. All right, Bruskowski, you tell me a near-death story and We'll next twitch stream you can you know, you can tell the stories this guy dude uh, All right boys anyways that's about enough story time with Fano. Tomorrow, I will try to wake up early and do a Twitch stream. No promises, as always, but uh, we'll definitely do a Twitch stream Friday. Uh, I'll schedule a live stream on YouTube. We'll do a Q&A stream tomorrow where we can just talk markets, and uh, maybe we'll get an update by then. Who knows? If we do get an update tonight, chat, I will make a video, and obviously, I'll go live again. But there's no guarantees with Valve. Honestly, like... Just L Valve in the chat. Like, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, we get something, though. We will see. Uh, anyways, guys, take care. Thank you so much for all the love and support for hanging out, guys. These streams have been amazing the last couple of days. Uh, I've been really just blessed to have such an amazing community, and I hope you guys stick around for the ride, for the journey. My goal here is to help you guys get the inventory of your dreams, share with you guys my journey, my experience. To the top, baby. We're going to make it next year. Big year next year, chat. Take care, guys. Peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.